Meet the Pennsylvania native leading a 20,000 person strong team across the globe. Kathy Russell is UNICEF's new executive director with a very important job to protect the world's children. Since taking the job last month, Kathy Russell has been on the road. She traveled to the Ukraine border supporting desperate refugees and their families as they crossed into safety in Romania. And to Afghanistan, meeting with Taliban officials, pushing them to commit to reopening schools for all girls this month. Hello. She also met with students at a UNICEF-sponsored school in Kandahar. And what would you be doing every day if you weren't here? And mothers at a hospital where their children are fighting starvation. Kathy Russell is no stranger to tough jobs. She's fought long and hard for women's rights, serving as ambassador at large for global women's issues for the State Department. And now she's ready to take on the fight for kids at a time when there are more conflicts and natural disasters than at any time in UNICEF's 75-year history. Kathy Russell will play a critical role in the future of all the world's children. All right, and joining us now, Kathy Russell, the new director Come of UNICEF. On, Kathy! Kathy. <laughs> we are I celebrating women today. We want to celebrate Hi, you Kathy, for pleasure. your work. So Have a great seat. To meet Thank, you. You. Thank you. Gosh, if there ever were a time where yeah. people can really recognize the mission yeah. of UNICEF and how important it is, and we just saw mm -hmm. that little baby and held her in yeah, our arms, and there are so yeah. many stories like that right now in Ukraine. Yes. What did you see? What do you want the world to know? There are a lot of stories like that, unfortunately. I was at the border in Romania, and there were just so many women and children coming across the border, almost no men, of course, except some, a few very old men. Uh, but the women and children were just bewildered and tired and you know, when you think about what it would take to force you to leave your home, nobody ever wants to do that. Um, but they came because they had no options, and uh, UNICEF was there, along with a lot of other people, greeting them, trying to help them figure out where to go. We were registering them, making sure that they had the services they needed. But honestly, they were just devastated by what happened to their country. Yeah, I mean, you think, what do they need the most? And I feel like the list must be so long. They need everything. They need everything, for sure, because they, they come I mean, you see it on the news, yeah. right? The children have a little backpack, and the women are dragging a suitcase. That's all they That's have. The men, we should just be, in, the men are not permitted to leave. They are, they're there to, yeah. to fight. Men between 18 and 60 are not yeah. allowed to leave the country. So, you know, you see all these stories on the news of, you know, husbands and fathers saying goodbye to their children. It's heartbreaking to see it. It's, it's really heartbreaking. It's unthinkable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's, of course, not the only place where UNICEF uh, is needed. Mm -hmm. Afghanistan is another. Mm -hmm. You have been there as well, as yes. you just started this work and um, the plight of women and girls there in particular. Yeah. Afghanistan was a heartbreaking place to be, honestly. I mean, we see, I, I had been there before uh, in my work at the State Department, but now um, the country is, the interesting thing is there's no conflict, right? Mm -hmm. So I was able to travel around the country, which was interesting, but um, it's so desperately poor right now that people mm -hmm. can't get money. So on the one hand, you, dr you drive around and you see food stands, right? fruits and vegetables, yeah. but it's like up to 95% of the population has is below the poverty line. Yes. And people are severely malnourished, and it's devastating. And you were that. advocating that the Taliban reopen schools yeah. for girls. I mean, do you feel like you made any headway there? You know, look, I made the point that girls have a right to be in school, mm -hmm. and that uh, it's also, you know, for now, the, the future of Afghanistan is in the hands of the children, yeah. right? And they need to educate their children, boys and girls, and they need to make sure that they're nourished and taken care of. You know, they've had decades of conflict. They need to think about the future, and they're never going to be a strong country unless they educate boys and girls. I mean, you've seen the most difficult conflicts right up close. Yeah. Where do you, like, I sometimes we look at things and you feel like things are hopeless, mm. but you're not. Like, I can see no, right here. No, so where no. do you, where do you find the hope? You can't be hopeless. I mean, look, I was in, when I was in Afghanistan, I went to a hospital where they take Take care of um, children who are malnourished. And I held a child. I don't know if, if the photo was in yeah. there, but it was a, a baby whose mother tried to, to feed her when she was born. And the mother, you know, was unable to nurse her, really, because the mo mother was malnourished, right? So I held this child. She was three months old. I mean, she couldn't have weighed eight pounds, right? And so, you know, obviously, you're, you guys are mothers. I'm a mother. It, it was so devastating to see this. And But I thought, you know what? We're there. We're, we're nourishing this child. We're going to make a difference. We're yeah. trying to raise $3 billion to go to Afghanistan. Yeah. I know that we can't, we know how to fix yeah. the problem. 
problems. Yeah. We know how, how to do it. We just have to have the will of the international community to do it. So that's what gives me hope, right? UNICEF knows how to do it. Yeah. Others know how. We just have to do and it. And people are going to be watching mm -hmm. this coverage. I know, yeah. We know the hearts mm -hmm. of Americans, but it, today yes. viewers in particular. Yes. So UNICEF is in, in the border region of Ukraine. You're yes. doing work there. Yes. And if you give that money, is going everywhere. to get there? Yes. Yeah. We're, okay. we're everywhere. <laughs> we are working on these problems. Yes. And, and we look, the American people are so generous, and they've helped us so much over the years. Mm -hmm. But we, we're fixing these problems. We know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And it, it does make a difference. Every little bit helps us. Kathy, thank you. Oh, okay. thank wow. you for all the work it's you so do. Great to see you. Wow. Great to see you. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.